In this video, I will show you how to use DSers with Shopify. So first, of course, you will need to have a Shopify account and a DSers account. Now, I'll leave links to both DSers and Shopify down in the description. With DSers, they have a completely free plan available where you can already import products and do order fulfillment from AliExpress. So I'll show you how you can use that one. Now, if you want to get started with Shopify, then you can get this deal right here through the link in the description. So you will get three days for free and then three months of Shopify for one euro or pound or dollar per month. So if you want to claim this, just click on the link in the description as well. And after setting up your account on the Essers, also just click on get started. And again, it's completely free to create your account. Just enter your email and password and click get started. So after creating your account, you can see all the platforms that you can sell on right here. Now I'll show you how to use this with Shopify. So therefore I'll click Shopify and then here just click install. Now that will take you to the Shopify app store and more specifically to the DSers app. Now you can see it has a pretty insane rating of five stars out of five with over 30,000 reviews. I think this is the best rating I've seen on any app on the Shopify app store. So that should tell you how good DSers is. Now from here, just click on install. And if you already have a tab open, it will just sign you in automatically. So then just click install and otherwise just sign into your Shopify account. So from here, just click on confirm. And now you'll see the plans that they have right here. Now you can get started with a free trial on one of their paid plans, but I'm just going to get started with the basic free plan since that's already quite an advanced plan. Now from here, it will take you to step three, which is to link your supplier, which in this case is most likely AliExpress. If you don't have an account, then click on that right there. But if you click right here, then it's going to take you to AliExpress. And from there, you want to then sign into your AliExpress account. So then after you connect your AliExpress account, you will then get to your DSers dashboard. Now from here, we can actually start using it. Now first, you can go to the product research section right here and find products that are actually popular on TikTok. So you have a bunch of filters right here, for example, industry, country, filter by likes. Now, for example, if I'll go by household products and then click confirm, I can now also find products that are popular as household products. Now from here, you can also go to the find product section and it will show you a bunch of AliExpress products. Now, in order to add your own custom products, you can also just find a product on AliExpress, such as this water bottle. And then I can just take the water bottle keyword and there search for that and click on OK. Or alternatively, you can take a picture right here and upload it by clicking on that. But now basically it's going to show a bunch of water bottles from AliExpress that I can go and import. So once you have found a product that you want to import, just click on the button right here that says add to import list. And then here choose the import language. So for me, I want English, but you can also pick one of these other ones. So then just click confirm. And now what you can do is go to your import list in the left right here and you will now see the product. Now you can simply push it to your store or you can first edit the product and basically change the title, the weight, the length. Now I wouldn't really touch the dimensions or reference weight since that should be correct, but you can also set a collection for it, a type, you can change the image, you can select which variants you want. And here you can also set your pricing. You can set the country that you want to ship to you can also set the shipping method and the pricing rule right here. And you can change the description, images, and again, shipping info right here. And once you have updated all of it, just click push to store. And now it's just going to upload this product onto my store. And you can see your preference as well right here. So the pricing rule applied to this product, continue selling when out of stock, also publish to online store, set product status as draft, only push product specifications, and these ones I would turn on, so automatic inventory update, automatic price update, and manual price update. So just make sure all of this is good. And what you can also do is instantly also upload reviews by clicking on looks right here, and then you can also start using looks, but I'll just click push to store. And now I'll show you right now, you can see the status, but if I go to my Shopify store and click products, you will now see the actual product right here. And if I click preview, you can see right here, it has imported the colors. 
and the images and all of that and you can see when i click on one of these it's actually going to select the right image with it so for example if i click blue it should show the blue product image right here and it has updated all of that automatically now this store needs a lot of customization of course but you can now see how this works and again, I would also recommend using looks right here, because if you connect that to your DSers, then you can also import the AliExpress product reviews automatically onto your Shopify store. So now once you get an order, you can see it right here under open orders and then AliExpress, since this product is from AliExpress, and you can then see all of the orders. And from there, it should be taken care of automatically. If it isn't, then what you can also do is click on fulfill orders manually right there or place order to AliExpress. You can also filter by status, so pending, awaiting order, awaiting payment, awaiting shipment, awaiting fulfillment, fulfilled, canceled, or filled orders. Now I recommend just going through this every day and make sure everything is actually ordered as fast as possible. Now in the tracking section right here, you can also see your tracking status, but for this, you will need to upgrade to one of their premium plans so that your customers actually get tracking updates, which could be worth it. And finally, in these settings right here, you can also see your shipping settings. So you can see which shipping you're using, so standard shipping and basically you can just pick whichever one you want right here and right here under the supplier optimizer if you click on that you can then search for a product or upload a product link and then it will help you optimize the supplier so get better shipping get better pricing or overall better products and i recommend doing this with every single product that you upload now in the report section, you can also see your analytics. And for this, you will first need to set up the currency and time zone for your store. And then you can actually see your reporting. So now you know how to use DSers with Shopify. Again, if you want to get started with DSers and Shopify, you can use the links given down in the description. And with DSers, you can just get started with their free plan or with a 14 day free trial. And on Shopify, you can get a three day free trial and then three months for $1 per month. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.